You, there's always, you could always use more time, and it always runs out right when you need it. That kind of reminds me of like you know a Douglas Adam quote. My favorite quote from him was that um, he loves the sound of a deadline wishing by. To be honest, to get this far just feels absolutely surreal. It's like we all came together, we all built this machine. I don't feel like you can stop us now. Since test weekend, we had changed the um, motors for the wheels so that these are different now. We also added the cooling system for the hover engines, uh, which will be uh, liquid carbon dioxide to be able to spray it onto it. Uh, and then we also changed some of the mounting pl plates Instead of being plastic, we're using metal. I mean, this is this has never been done before. We don't even know if this is possible. And my interest is that sort of thing, to see how far we can go. This, you know, is a fifth mode of transportation that could really improve people's lives. I just hope everything works, because it means getting to the time where we're kind of pushing stuff and we might not have enough time to do our own testing before the test week. It's like everyone's kind of like, in that panic mode and trying to, starting to freak out about like, where's this, where's that? Oh my God, did we get this done yet? Oh my God, we need to finish all this stuff. Our loop has kind of really taken over my life at the moment. And I'm not complaining, it's, it's a wonderful experience. I feel like we have a really good shot at winning this. Um, we have some of the most brilliant people from around the world. T Connectivity had put a poll online where they ask all the T employees to name the pod and they selected the best few one and now they are opening up to the public to select the name of the pod. And the name of the pod is Infera. Congratulations and we wish you all the best. Know that all the T Connectivity employees here are cheering for you. The last step is always the hardest. It's when you think you've tackled all the things, oh, we have the batteries, all the stuff. No, we just need to plug that in, and check that thing. That's, that's usually where it takes most of the time. And we're getting into that now. So what I'm afraid of is the unknown. I think at this stage, the fact that we're, we're still here and we're able to compete uh, is we've won already. We've gone past every expectation anybody has ever had. We've surpassed all of them. Even ourselves, we've surprised ourselves with how much we've achieved with the, with the amount of little resources we've had available. What are my expectations now? My expectations are that we go, we compete. And I assure you, if we get past the test and get onto that track, we're bringing that trophy home. <laughs>